Hey everyone, welcome back to another Mach-E video. Uh, today we're on the road for this video. Um, this video is something I've been wanting to do for a while. It's um, going to be a highway range test, except it's a little more real world than ideal conditions. You know, kind of how most people are probably going to do road trips in um, EVs. Uh, if you watch Out of Spec Studios, uh, they came up with uh, what they call the 10% challenge, and that's essentially what we're going to try today with uh, this Mustang Mach E. This is a 2022 Mustang Mach E. Um, it's the premium trim, all wheel drive, standard range battery. Um, so it's actually the worst range Mach E uh, in the lineup. Uh, and I knew that when I bought it and everything, so that's not a surprise to me, but. Uh, most mach that I see are either the premium trim with the extended range battery or the GT or the select trim that has the standard range. There's not too many that are premium with the standard range and with the four-wheel drive. So, uh, you know, smaller battery, you got two motors, um, you've got all the premium options, so 19-inch uh, wheels, uh, you know, the glass roof, in this combination, um, you know, it's it's the lowest range Mach-E in the lineup. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to see how it does in this test. Um, so let me talk about the test. So the idea, the 10% challenge is that you arrive to a DC fast charger at 10% state of charge, um, you know, trying to mimic, you know, what you would do on the road, um, you know, probably around 10%, you probably want to think about charging you know, it gives you a little bit of buffer, um, you know, if something happens, uh, or you just need to stretch your range a little bit more. You're also gonna get the fastest charging speeds at those lower states of charge, uh, as opposed to, you know, plugging in at 60% or something. You're not gonna get nearly as fast of speeds. 10%, you arrive at, at your charger at 10% state of charge. You charge for 15 minutes, so that's another name that the challenge could be called is really the 15 minute charge challenge um, then you get back on the road and see how far you can go until you hit 10 percent again pretty simple um, you know some other you know kind of notes about the test um, you know you're going to be running air conditioning for the test and you're going to be doing highway driving at 80 miles an hour so you know the speed limits vary across the country, um, but out west it's pretty common to have at least 70 to 75 miles an hour. And actually out here in Idaho, we've got a pretty long stretch where it's 80 miles an hour posted speed limit. Um, so this will be a good test for that. Um, you know, this is probably how most people would drive for a 75 to 80 mile an hour speed limit. Uh, AC on, um, we'll do a loop style test. So we'll try and negate the wind and the elevation as much as possible um, but yeah and then how far can we go until we hit 10 percent again how far can we go to charger hop essentially and you know only waiting at the charger for 15 minutes you know that's enough time to hit the bathroom maybe uh, grab something out of a cooler or something like that check your phone uh, but you know after that most, most people would really prefer to get back on the road. In fact, I'm sure most people would probably prefer that's more like a 10 minute stop, but uh, I think 15 is a good number. Um, you know, depending on my result, it might be interesting to do the test again and, and charge for 20 minutes, just five extra minutes, just to see how many more miles that would give you. But we'll do 15 and, and uh, then we'll be able to compare uh, with some of the other tests that have been done on, on other cars. So, um, we are on our way to a DC fast charger. Um, we're at 30% state of charge right now. Um, so we might need to drive, my guess is we'll probably hit the charger around 15%. So we'll, we'll, we'll drive a little bit more so we actually hit it at 10%. Um, and then the other thing I'm gonna do is open up the navigation in the car. And I'm gonna put our fast charger in there where we're going. So, now the Mach-E, uh, in a more recent software update, I believe it was version 3, officially went out. Um, 
some of the newer version 4s have been actually stating a message about it. It knows you're going to be going to a fast charger if you put it in the navigation. And uh, it will do some preconditioning. Now, I think it's mostly just the heater. So, you know, in the summertime, this is really not going to matter nearly as much. Uh, but, you know, whatever the car is going to do, if it, if it is going to try and, you know, cool the battery a little bit more, if it's, you know, too hot to kind of prepare for the fast charge, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll let it do whatever it's going to do. So it thinks we're going to get there with 18%. So um, that's close to 10, but we'll, we'll probably need to go a little bit past it and, uh, you know, kind of, kind of maximize our energy usage here so we can get the battery down. All right, we made it to the charger. We've got 10% indicated on the car. We're right here on a 150 kilowatt charger. So let's plug in and uh, see how we do. All right, so we're gonna plug in here. Um, let me start a stopwatch for the connection time. Okay, so we're gonna try this. Okay, starting the stopwatch. Connecting to vehicle. We're at 30 seconds already. I don't hear anything happening yet. Here it goes. Okay, so we're at about 43 seconds there on the stopwatch. Okay, let's come around here. And let's see, welcome, continue. Sorry, I guess I blocked the screen with the cable there. There we go. 96, 98 kilowatt. Perfect. Kilowatts. 100, 101, 102. And I'm going to start a stopwatch on my wrist here too, just in case. This is great to see these charging speeds. Um, you know, these uh, stations here, um, some of the, some of the 350s, they've derated all the way down to 50 kilowatt hours. And the Mach-E, uh, the, the standard range pack only supports up to 115 kilowatts. So, uh, these are great speeds. These are some of the highest I've seen. Battery's nice and warm. Good temperature out here. Uh, it's in the 80s. And we're at one minute in. And we have delivered 1.5 kilowatt hours. Still holding steady at 107. And uh, let me go ahead and jump back in the car and turn on the air conditioning because that's part of the test is you're not going to be watching the screen. You're going to be sitting in here checking your phone uh, going to the bathroom, all that kind of stuff. So we're up to 15% here already. Got the AC on and we'll be running 70 at fan speed to the middle one. Uh, we're parked in the sun here. So the top says 88 degrees, but, uh, we're probably, it's probably more like 85 air temp. Okay, we're still at 104 kilowatts. That's awesome. Love these big speeds. Battery's at a good temperature, and it's just tank it in all it can. 101, 97. Okay, it's starting to taper down. 93, 91, 90, 88. This is to be expected. So after about two minutes, so 
so 82, got four and a half kilowatt hours in there already. We're at 18%. Hop back in the car here. Okay, we're five minutes in now. Uh, still doing 82 kilowatts. Uh, we've got about almost eight delivered. This is looking really good. Come around here so you can see the car. Running the cooling, keeping uh, electronics and the battery at a good temperature here. Still doing 82 kilowatts. All right, we're at 14 minutes, still doing 84 kilowatts, delivered 20.5 kilowatt hours, and we're gonna stop this as soon as we see this click to 15 minutes. Nice to see a nice steady charging speed at the big spike at the beginning, get it going, and uh, it's maintained here in the mid 80s very nicely. Okay, we're on the home stretch now, getting ready to stop. Fifteen minutes, stop. Okay. Chargers released. Pull this out. Okay, so fifteen minutes we delivered. 21.5 kilowatt hours. Um, it's free for me since I'm still using up what came with the car. So let's see how far we can go. Okay, so we're back inside the car now. Just finished the 15 minute session. We started at 10%. We ended at 42%. Again, this is the standard range battery. It says we have a 97 mile range now, um, but that would be going all the way to zero. Um, we're gonna reset our trip. Make sure this is nice and reset. And uh, we're gonna get on the highway, which is just right over here. All right, so we are merging onto the freeway here. We're a half a mile from the charger, so very close to the interstate. And uh, we're gonna safely get up to 80 miles an hour here. And we will do a loop style test, like I mentioned. So. We'll, we'll see what our efficiency is and everything, but we'll probably turn around in about 30 miles or so. Get this up to 80. There's 80. Cruise control on, blue cruise activating. All right, here we go. You know, I was kind of hoping to do this test when it was more in the 70s, like 75 degrees or so. Um, but can't control everything. Um, you know, there's no rain. It doesn't seem excessively windy. I'll, I'll check the wind report um, and report back on that. But um, seems pretty normal out here for, you know, kind of the, the west and the mountain desert, open, it, open plains. You're gonna get some wind out here. That's just kind of how it is. So we're about 20 minutes into the test. We've gone 24.8 miles. Um, we're at 29% state of charge user displayed. And uh, we're at 2.6 miles per kilowatt hour, which isn't too bad considering these speeds. Um, so I think I'm gonna take this exit and turn around. Um, and then if we have to go a little bit past the charger the other direction, that's no problem. So I'm gonna get off here. Okay, we just turned around. Um, 
We've gone 27 miles so far, uh, about 22 minutes into the test, and uh, we're at 27% state of charge. So in a couple minutes here, um, I'll put the charger in, kind of like you were gonna, you know, precondition again. Um, you know, this Mach E again has 9,000 miles on it. Uh, just ticked over during this test. Um, yeah. You know, one other thing you might be wondering about, um, when we were charging, I was commenting on how, you know, 84, 85 kilowatts was really great. Um, it's really great for the Mach-E. Um, you know, there's cars out there, um, the ID4, the Porsche Taycan, the um, Lucid Air, um, the, some of the, the Hyundais, like the uh, Ionic 5. You know, all those cars can charge a lot faster. They can charge in the, you know, 200 kilowatt range, uh, which, I mean, that's a huge difference. You're charging over twice as fast as I was. Um, but uh, this is how fast the Mach-E can charge. And then the other thing, too, is this is the worst range Mach-E in the lineup currently, and also the slowest charging Mach-E in the lineup currently because it has the standard range battery pack. Okay, so I put the charger in. Um, we're about 19 miles away. We're at 24% uh, state of charge. We've done 34 miles so far. So back of the charger, that'd be about 55 miles. Right now it's estimating we would get to the charger at 14%. Uh, We've got a little bit of elevation to gain on the way back. Um, so my guess is it'll be pretty close to 10%, but uh, we'll go a little bit further if we can and uh, do another update here in a couple minutes. We're at 11% coming up on the charger. I'm gonna go past this exit just so I can see when we actually hit 10%, because if I get off and then do the lower speeds, it's not quite the same test. It would add a couple of miles. So uh, we have gone. 51.5 miles, we're at 11%, let get over here, and we're going to hit that 10% any time now, so we just went past the charger, so it's about as close to a loop style test as we can really do here, we're only going to end up going a couple miles, maybe two miles past it try and get over here Have to speed up a little bit. Still at 11%. 10%. 52.5 miles, 42 minutes, 2.4 miles per kilowatt hour. Alright, there you have it. That's the test. And if you're curious, we just hit 9% now. We're at 54.5.6 miles. So just curious if, you know, hovering around that 10%, you know, I read it off as soon as we saw it, but if you're like, okay, if I just want to go a little bit further, how long till 9%? Well, there's your answer. All right, so we made it back to the charger, no issues. Really enjoyed the 10% challenge. I think it's a good metric of, you know, how far you can go. Um, with, you know, a reasonable charging stop um, without it being too long. And uh, I think uh, if you like the video, uh, I'm thinking about doing it again, but at 70 miles an hour, especially if you live on the East Coast and uh, your speed limits are more in that 65, 70 range, uh, that might be interesting. We'll obviously go further. Uh, how much further? I'm not sure. Another 10 miles, another 30 miles. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, probably not 30, but uh, somewhere in there. So, uh, thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you next time.